Excel has some beautiful dialog boxes. Wouldn't it be great if you could call them and use them in Visual Basic? This is an example of a dialog box. It lets the user decide which color they want in a certain cell. In VBA there is a collection of dialog boxes. And here is just a limited list running from A through C, so you see there is much more. So for instance, this one, the alignment dialog box, can be called through that collection through this member. Or the border one can be called through Excel dialog border. And the one we are looking at here is called Excel dialog patterns. So once you know this, and you can probably find them easily for whatever needs you have, you can use them. I'm going to use the one we just discussed in the macro or subroutine new record, another one to import text files, a third one to import web files, and finally one to open a file. Let's say you have this record set of timesheets, and every week you want to enter a new record. It automatically copies the previous record here and it asks you uh, how many hours did the person work that week. It will automatically update one week later. And then we will ask through this dialog box what pattern does the user want on their database. No color or a specific color. And whatever color you click on through the collection of dialogues, that color is usually put in the active cell. So the active cell will get that color. All we have to do now is, through VBA, we ask the active cell what color was given to you by the user. And that color we want in a pattern every other row. So let's start the subroutine. I call it new record. You de declare a few variables. The, the color one, because I don't know how that color comes out, I declare that as a variant. Variant is all comprehensive. It can hold any kind of value. Uh, I happen to do this on sheet 2. There is, that's where my timesheets are. I activate that sheet and I insert before row two in the collection of rows number two i insert a new row now row two has become row three i copy that into rows two which is still empty then i say to cell a2 give me whatever is in cell a3 but seven days later the next week and to cell b2 I ask the user what kind of hours did the user have this week and by default I take the hours of the previous week. And then we are going to talk to the active cell current region. What is the active cell current region? If this is your record set then the current region is this section. It looks for empty rows above, empty rows below, empty column to the right, empty column to the left, and it determines that this must be the current region. The current region knows how many rows you have, how many columns you have. It's a great tool in Visual Basic. So we talk to the active cell current region, and VBA knows what that is, and we say give me from that current region dot rows dot count. We store that in R, so we know exactly how many rows we have. And we call from Excel application the collection of dialogues. And we specify which one we want, Excel dialog patterns, dot show. So the user will now see their dialog box. They click on one of the colors, so now the active cell's interior color is the color they chose, and we store that in V color of the variant type. Then we clean all previous colors in that current region, dot interior dot color index equals zero. That means no more colors in there. And then we are going to assign the new color in a step process, a loop running from two 
2R, the number of rows, but step 2, or 5, or 7, whatever you decide. Finish the loop, and say to rows I, 2, and then 4, and then 6, until we reach R, change the interior color to V color. The, the only problem is it will work perfectly until the user says no color. That turns out to be this number. Then we have to adjust the code and say rows interior pattern equals Excel none or interior color index equals zero. The second example we are going to discuss is in the collection of dialog boxes there is an import text file dialog box and you can determine which text file you want to import and when you click on import it will give you this beautiful wizard Excel has that already why invent the wheel again you have this already so we say split at the comma and at the space that text file and store it in Excel. Let's call that dialog box with the subroutine text import. We do that on a new sheet, so we say to the collection of worksheets, let's add one before something or after something. I'm going to add it after the active sheet. Then we call the dialogs collection from Excel application dialogs and the specific one dialog import text file show. To make sure that we are already in the correct subdirectory for this, I change the directory to active workbook.path. So I'm looking for files in the same subfolder as where my Excel file is located. If you want to look in a specific other directory, change directory and then type here literally inside double quotes your C colon forward slash forward slash etc etc etc. If something goes wrong in the process we would get an error message. To prevent that we say on error resume next before that line and it will go to the next line which is end sub. Then the third one I'm going to discuss is this beautiful dialog box. It allows you to import certain web tables. We are going to call this box that exists already in Excel. We put the address of a certain website there and you can specify in this box with the green little box which table you want to use from that website. You know a website has usually many tables in there. You specify which one you want to import. At the moment you click on import it will import that one. I will show you that later. Let's make that subroutine. We declare two variables, one of the workbook type we ask the user which website do you want. I am using this one which gives us the exchange rates for US dollars versus foreign currencies. We store that address. If you don't take this one, type whatever you want in the input box. We store that in S file. We add to the collection of worksheets a new worksheet after the active sheet. We call the dialogs collection from Excel. This one is called dialog new web query. Show it and the first argument is S file. Show in the dialog box this specific website. And then finally the last one as an example. How do you call this dialog box? It's a little different from what we discussed before because this one is not specific for Excel, it is for Windows. So it is not in the Excel dialog boxes. So we open a file and this one is called by get open file name. Application get open file name. And here is your filter. We want Excel files comma any file name dot xls or xl m for macro files etc you probably want to change the directory to the path that you are working in if s file happens to be false that means the get open file name was cancelled 
then we just exit the sub. Otherwise we open from the collection of workbooks the one that is called S-File. And it will automatically open that one right now. Let's test these. Here is our timesheets table, so Ctrl Shift N is the shortcut I assigned to new records. Ctrl Shift N will automatically add a new row in row 2. It asks how many hours, if I say 45, it will adjust that. Notice that it automatically adjusts it to week, one week later. Then it asks you which color pattern do you want. I happen to choose this one. It's going to put that in the active cell. The code for active cell will find that pattern. So if I do Ctrl Shift N next week again, it will automatically add one. This time I'm going to say that was 40 hours. Which color do you want? Let's make it bluish now, so it will automatically adjust the color pattern. Now let's test the next one. Text import, Ctrl Shift T. In the folder that I happen to be in with this file, I'm going to use name list, import it. I get this beautiful box. It is a delimited text file. It has a comma separator and a space separator. And I finish. It says where do you want it in A1 on that sheet and there is your new file. Control Shift W. There is the website we made default. It automatically opens this screen. Here is your website address. And I can scroll down and say which section do I want. Let's say this section. Import it. It will ask you where do you want to store it on this new sheet. And it's going to get the information from the website. You can do this every day and it will automatically update because these figures update every day. Finally the open file. Control Shift O. And you can do anything on there. And it will open the calendar file that happens to have this in it. When I close it, I am back to my original file. You probably want to know much more about VBA. This was just the tip of the iceberg. I developed and created for you a CD-ROM Excel 2007 VBA. It is a very rich source of all kinds of VBA, VBA tricks that you ever need. All of these in more than 1500 slides, so it is an exhaustive source for your code. Where can you find all of this? MrExcel.com, Amazon.com, GenesisPC.com. If you go to Amazon, you type my name, Gerard Verschuren, and it will give you all the information you need.